Hey guys, sorry for that. Uh, the last episode kind of cut off at this point. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, this won't work either. What are we going to do? We can't get over there. Pierce is in trouble. Shouldn't we try to help him? I think we should, yes. Maybe if we could do something about that stump, we could reach the backside of Gabomba. We've got to help Piers, right, Felix? Right. Let's go. Then hop to it. Yes. Huh? Oh, there's a Sinji stone here. Well, Jenna could use that. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Huh? That power, was that synergy? Yes. I knew it! I should have spotted at, at once your adepts. Wait, so did that... Wait, so does that mean you're... My, yes, my name is Piers, and I too am an adept. To be honest, everyone in Lemuria is an adept, and not just me. What's Lemuria? Lemuria is an island that lies in the center of the Eastern Sea. Wait a second, you said Lemuria? I've heard that name before. Of course, it was Lord Babby. He often spoke to me of Lemuria. He said it was so advanced that we can scarcely begin to imagine what it might have, what it must have been like. You are correct. My home was and is all that you say. Whoever told you this knows much of Lemuria. But wait, if it's so far away in the middle of the ocean, how come anyone knows so much about it? It, it is not easily reached, and we Lemurians seldom leave. I cannot imagine how anyone could have learned anything at all about us. Except... Hold on a moment. Babby. I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, yeah, everyone knows about Lord Babby. He's the ruler of Tolby. I've never heard of Tolby. Until recently, I'd never left my home of Lemuria. Piers, are you just playing games with us? Don't be foolish. What would I gain f from lying to you? I'm being quite serious. Piers is not playing games, Jenna. You can trust him. Thank you for believing me, Master Sage. Please, call me Creighton, Piers of Lemuria. And I am the one who should be thanking you. You look puzzled, Felix. You are probably wondering what I'm talking about. Well, to be honest, yes I am. I thought as much. If what Babby told me is true, Lemuria is all that remains of a once great civilization. Your friend is correct. In fact, the reason I was sent to Vale was somewhat related to my inability to find Lemuria itself. I don't understand. What was in Vale that had anything to do with Lemuria? Babby believed that, in Lemuria alone, the power of alchemy remains unbound. Unbound, huh? Lord Babby has need of Lemuria's alchemy, but despite our effort, we could not find the lost city. Since we could not find Lemuria, Lord Babby sent me to unlock the secrets of alchemy myself. Ah, yes, Babby. If I recall correctly, a man named Babby came to Lemuria long ago. He stole one of our ships and fled the isle. Yes, that must indeed be the same Lord Babby who now leads the people of Tolby. Now I'm even more confused. This is making my head hurt. I mean, if Babby really stole a ship from your home, why would, why would he be trying so hard to find it again? I can't expect to 
you un I can't expect you to understand, my dear. Lord Babby's reasons for finding Lemuria are complex. But if he already found Lemuria once, why doesn't he just go back the same way? Once you have left Lemuria, finding it again is quite difficult, even if you know where to look. Well, why? The waters around Lemuria are wrapped in a perpetual fog. It is very difficult to navigate. I remember Lord Babby once saying something to that effect. Even if one locates Lemuria, getting through the fog itself remains quite a challenge. I just don't get it. Why can't you just sail straight through it? The ocean currents around Lemuria are swift and tetris. Only one who can sail a Lemurian ship can complete the journey. But Babby stole a Lemurian ship from you, right? That means he can sail it. You said yourself that he used it to flee the island. Unfortunately, Babby was the only one of us who could use the ship. You see, Lemurian ships can only be helmed by adepts. Which is why I must get my... Uh, I yeah, I butchered that. Which is why I must... Which is why I have to get my black orb back. I must be able to captain my ship. There may be something up ahead on this path. Then let's go. Wait a moment, Piers. Yes? We want to help you get your orb back. You intend to help me, Craden? I am on this quest for many reasons, one of them being that I wish to see Lemuria. If you would allow me, that is. I'd like to visit Lemuria myself. If this is something you would do for Babby, then I cannot permit it. What? Why not? Babby is a thief. He is not well loved in Lemuria. It is partially on behalf of Babby. But there's more to it than that. I want to go to Lemuria so that I can see the full power of alchemy. I want to aid Pierre so that he will take us to Lemuria. What do you say, Felix? Well, I guess... I agree. You'll do it? Splendid! I appreciate your offer, but... I understand, Piers. You're not sure if you'll be able to take us to Lemuria, is that it? Can we talk about this later? Yes, yes, of course. For now, let's just get that orb back for Piers. And now Piers joins our party, thank god. He's level 17 instead of level oh, 18 like in the original. Uh, hold on. Yeah, he's got a high attack as well. Uh, let's see his stats. He's a swordsman right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I guess they gave mud to him. Well, anyway, we can shuffle things around now that he's here. Uh, hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can give him breath, because he's going to be the one that has the Jupiter Dijin. Ah, perfect. Plus, I haven't really decided on the voice for Piers yet, so forgive me if his voice sounds kind of like, I don't know how to put it, but like, not as distinct or, you know, from the other characters, because I can memorize Jenna, Felix, and Chiba's voice, but not Piers. I haven't really decided. I want to give him a voice like Alex, but I don't know if I succeed in that or not. Anyway, I'm finally glad we have Piers to join the party. So, uh, yeah. Um, da -da -da. Let's see what he's got. The Boon series. He's got Diamond Dust, Astro Blast, Wrench, the Slash series, Impact, Dull, and Deluge. Did I just pronounce del delude like deluge? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that because deluge is what comes after drench in the Dao series. 
that was probably why I said delude as delude. And I'm like, after I said that, I was like, what? That's not how you pronounce it. Anyway, we're going to keep going up ahead. Perhaps I can grow more custom to Piers' voice. I don't, know, I don't really know what I'm deciding for him yet. But I hope for it, I find a good voice for him in time. Mm -mm. Anyway, let's see. I think we just go around here. This looks like I can scoop it. Oh, God, I'm so glad to have, finally have four party members. It's been far too long without it. Huh? There's like a crack in the ground here. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do with that yet. It's a dead end. But this was the only path. Isn't it a little strange that there would be a path that just goes nowhere like this? Hmm. I see. What is it you see, Craden? So that's how it works. Well, could you tell us, please? Listen up, Felix. Yeah? Dig there. Oh, so you want me to use scoop? Very well then, scoop. I see. What's, what, what, what's this? Someone has put something in the ground here. And this statue? Well, take a look. Felix, try using scoop around there. Right here. It seems they're making a bunch of arrows. Ah, I thought so. You thought what? These marks are here to indicate an entrance there in the center of the design. You mean we can go inside the statue? You could at one point. The entrance was probably beneath that stone. I wonder, was this the only one? It seems that way. Man, if this was the only entrance, then I feel bad for the people who built this statue. Why is that? Well, if this is the only hole, then there's no way for air to get in or out. Must have been really hot when they were working in there. I hadn't even thought of that. We must inspect this area carefully, Felix. Jenna has raised an interesting point. If people did indeed build this, they would have not been able to do it without an air supply. They might have opened a vent somewhere nearby. And if so, then there may have been a ladder to enter the vent. We should try and find it. Craydon, there doesn't seem to be anything of the sort here. What were we just looking at? If there is a vent shaft, it would probably be quite old, maybe even buried. Exactly like those marks we just uncovered. And if that's the case, we should search more thoroughly. Okay, Felix. Right then. What if I cast Reveal here, though? Nothing. You must have been talking about this. I guess I need to see that cutscene first before I could scoop here. Anyway, let's go. Yep, there's a ladder. And here we are down in the Gabomba statue. So, on the next episode of Golden Sun Lost Age Reloaded, we'll explore the Gabomba statue. So, I'll see you then.